Hi guys, welcome back to the Tech Chat. Now, 4K is the future, there's no doubt about it. And if you're considering upgrading to a 4K monitor like this one, there are a few things you need to know. So here are my top five tips to give you the best 4K desktop experience. So my first tip is about 4K content. You'll often hear people say there's no point in investing in 4K as basically there's nothing to watch, there's nothing to see in 4K, uh, except maybe for a few shows on Netflix or Amazon. And this is the case with 4K TVs, but monitors connected to computers are an entirely different story. The higher resolution gives you more desktop space, so you can have more programs, more apps, and more tabs open at once. You can access the desktop YouTube site as well, which has the biggest catalog of 4K videos, even 4K 60 videos of any website or streaming service. And of course, pretty much all modern games support 4K resolutions, whether you're playing Fallout 4, Rainbow Six Siege, or GTA 5. It's all in glorious Ultra HD 4K. So don't worry about 4K content on 4K monitors. It's not the same as 4K TVs. My second tip, and it is a pretty obvious one, I'm sure most of you guys already know, but you do need a pretty powerful PC in order to actually power a 4K monitor, particularly if you intend to use it for gaming. So an Ultra HD 4K monitor like this, Asus PG27AQ, has about 8.2 million pixels. That compares to just over 2 million on a standard full HD or 1080p uh, monitor. So that's four times as many pixels your graphics card, your processor, your RAM, or, you know, all your PC components needs to push. So obviously that has a big impact on the frame rate of your games and your general computer performance. So gaming in particular should be avoided at 4K resolutions unless you have one of the most recent, one of the most powerful flagship graphics cards like an NVIDIA 980 Ti or an AMD R9 Fury X. And even then, you may only get 40, maybe 50 FPS in modern games at sort of top high settings. And of course, also high resolutions use more of your GPU's VRAM. So it's definitely worth getting a card that has at least 4 gigabytes or preferably like the 980 Ti 6 gigabytes. But of course that's just for games. Not everyone who wants to buy a 4K monitor will be playing games. There's loads of other reasons uh, to invest in a 4K monitor, uh, including the ability to edit 4K video at its native resolution without having to zoom in or see a sort of a reduced version of it. You also of course get extra real estate on the desktop for your apps and your programs. But even if you don't plan on using your 4K monitor for gaming, do be aware that editing 4K video, for example, requires a lot more processing power than 1080p Full HD. So make sure your PC or your laptop, if you plan to use a monitor as a secondary external 4K display is up to the job of powering all 8.2 million pixels. Now my third tip is unless you have a huge 32 or maybe even 40 inch 4K monitor you'll probably find that the text and the icons are a bit too small to comfortably see at 4K's 3840 by 2160 resolution. Crisp images and sharp text are great but not when you have to strain your eyes to actually see it. So this is where scaling comes in handy and it's got a lot better with Windows 10. Now the default 100% scaling, you get one to one pixel ratio. And on a 27 inch 4K monitor, everything looks pretty tiny. But to fix this, all you need to do is right click on the desktop and open display settings and you'll then see a slider. This adjusts the window scaling in 25% increments. I recommend just dragging it one notch to the right to change the scaling to 125%, although Windows actually recommends 150%. Scaling on Macs is even simpler. Just go to the display settings and then pick out the best for display or scaled options. So adjusting the scaling, whether it's uh, on Windows or Mac, can make 4K much more usable. Everything will still be sharp and you still get a lot more desktop real estate than you would on say a 1080p or a 1440p monitor, but it's much easier to read the text and the icons. Everything's just a lot more comfortable to use. My next tip is about making sure you're using DisplayPort or the latest HDMI 2.0 connection uh, as the older, more common HDMI 1.4 port will only support the 4K resolution at 30 hertz, which uh, is actually pretty slow and pretty rubbish. You don't want 30 hertz. Since 4K monitors are actually pretty new, you can't get one with a higher refresh above 60 hertz just yet. But later in 2016, we should start seeing higher refresh 4K monitors that support 100 hertz, maybe 120 hertz uh, becoming the standard and also using DisplayPort 1.3. But for now, we have to compromise on high refresh rates in order to enjoy the higher resolution, which is why for lots of people, particularly gamers, 1440p monitors that do support 120 and 144 hertz are a better option. So if you're still with me, my fifth and final tip is about gaming with a PS4 or Xbox One on a 4K monitor. I've made loads of videos about ultra wide and 4K monitors, but one of the most common questions I get is how would it look on a PS4 or Xbox One? Well, the simple answer is hooking up your PS4 or your Xbox to a 4K monitor uh, will be basically the same as just putting it on a 1080p monitor. Since games consoles maximum display output is 1080p, full HD, uh, that's all you're gonna see on the monitor regardless of the fact that it is a 4K monitor. Technically what's happening is since there's four times as many pixels on a 4K monitor than on a 1080p, each 1080p pixel will map to a 2x2 square on the 4K monitor. 
It's a bit like watching a Blu-ray movie, which as I'm sure you know are full HD, on a 4K TV. It doesn't suddenly become a 4K Blu-ray. But the problem with that analogy is that Blu-ray players and TVs often have upscaling software to make uh, the Blu-ray look better. But obviously monitors don't have that, so really your games console won't look any better or any worse on a 4K monitor. So it might not look any better, you might not get any extra detail, but you can use your 4K monitor with your games console if you want, as long as it's got a HDMI port to connect to. And then obviously you have to consider sound. If your monitor doesn't have built-in speakers, you're gonna have to either use headphones with the console or find some sort of external speaker system. If you have any tips or tricks about using 4K monitors uh, that I've missed, do let me know in the comments below. I'd love to hear from you. Thank you very much for watching and subscribing, guys, and I'll see you again right here on the Tech Chat.